Obsidian is often referred to as the second brain app. At first glance, its interface might seem overwhelming, but there is a huge potential hidden beneath. On the other hand, Microsoft OneNote is a versatile digital notebook that organizes your notes, ideas, and tasks across devices, perfect for productivity enthusiasts. However, if you were to choose between these, which one would you go for? Let's find out. Let's start with Obsidian. It is built around the concept of creating interlinked notes. At its core, it uses a knowledge graph to help users visualize connections between ideas. For instance, if you're drafting a video script and linking it to previous ideas, such as an audience analysis or a content schedule, the knowledge graph displays these connections visually. This makes Obsidian especially appealing to those who like to see the bigger picture of their workflows. On the other hand, OneNote's interface is rich with options. Unlike Obsidian's minimalist markdown approach, OneNote's interface provides tools for inserting tables, images, audio recordings, and even embedding online videos. Imagine preparing for a client presentation. You can create a notebook that combines meeting notes, visual aids, and audio reminders all in one place. However, some might find OneNote's layout slightly overwhelming, especially if they're not accustomed to Microsoft's ecosystem. Let's see what features and benefits both platforms offer. Obsidian's Knowledge Graph offers a unique way to visualize how your notes are connected. For instance, if you're working on a research project, the graph allows you to see relationships between different notes, like linking background information to specific case studies or findings. This creates a map of interconnected thoughts, which makes it easier to navigate complex ideas. The visual representation helps users uncover patterns or gaps they might miss with a linear approach. On the other hand, OneNote uses a more traditional notebook structure with sections and pages. While simple and intuitive, it doesn't provide the same dynamic way to interlink ideas visually. This makes it better suited for straightforward note organization without the added depth of interconnectivity. Customization is where Obsidian shines. With its vast library of plugins, users can adapt the app to their specific needs. For example, you could use a Kanban plugin to track tasks an advanced table plugin for detailed data, or even integrate templates for repetitive tasks. This level of personalization allows users to build an experience designed to their workflows, whether managing a video production pipeline or planning a client project. OneNote, while reliable, doesn't offer the same level of flexibility. Its tools are predefined and work well for most users, such as embedding images or annotating files. However, the lack of third-party plugins can limit its appeal to those who prefer more control over their tools. OneNote is built with collaboration in mind. With its cloud-based structure, users can share notebooks, which enables real-time edits and contributions from multiple team members. For example, a marketing team can draft strategies, update meeting notes, and share ideas quickly. This makes it ideal for group projects or environments where collaboration is key. Obsidian, being primarily offline, focuses more on individual use. While collaboration is possible through sync features or external tools, it's not as smooth or intuitive as OneNote's built-in capabilities. For individuals working solo or prioritizing privacy, this limitation may not be a drawback, but OneNote holds a clear advantage for teams. Microsoft OneNote has a significant edge in AI integration through Microsoft Copilot. This AI assistant can summarize content, generate ideas, and even create structured to-do lists. For instance, after a brainstorming session, Copilot could highlight key points or transform scattered thoughts into organized outlines. This feature is particularly helpful for those managing heavy workloads or requiring quick insights from their notes. Obsidian lacks a native AI assistant, but offers plugins to connect with external AI tools. While these can be useful, they require additional setup and lack the intuitive functionality. OneNote provides directly within the app. Obsidian is designed for offline use, which ensures that all your data is stored locally and accessible without an internet connection. This makes it a secure choice for users concerned about privacy or working in environments with limited connectivity. For example, writers traveling to remote areas can continue working uninterrupted. OneNote, however, thrives on its online capabilities. Its cloud syncing ensures that any updates made on one device are reflected across all others instantly. While this is incredibly convenient, 
It's dependent on having an active internet connection, which might not suit users prioritizing offline functionality. Obsidian's Markdown-based formatting is minimalist and distraction-free. This allows users to focus entirely on their content without unnecessary bells and whistles. However, it requires learning Markdown syntax, which might be daunting for some. For example, creating a bulleted list or formatting text requires specific characters. In contrast, OneNote offers a more user-friendly approach with a rich text editor that includes font styles, tables, and multimedia embeds. This makes it accessible for users of all technical levels, catering to those who need versatility without additional learning curves. OneNote's syncing capabilities are one of its strongest features. With its effortless integration into the Microsoft ecosystem, users can start a note on their phone, continue on a tablet, and finish on their desktop without missing a beat. This cross-device accessibility makes it highly convenient for professionals who are always on the move. Obsidian's syncing solution, on the other hand, comes at an additional cost through Obsidian Sync. While effective, it's a paid feature, which might deter users looking for a free alternative. However, for those prioritizing privacy, Obsidian's local-first approach still holds appeal. OneNote's ability to incorporate multimedia elements sets it apart. Users can record audio, insert videos, and add images directly into their notes. This makes it an excellent choice for dynamic projects, such as recording client feedback or embedding visual elements for presentations. Obsidian, while primarily text-focused, supports multimedia through plugins. For example, you can integrate images or audio files, but these features require additional steps to enable, which makes it less user-friendly in this regard. Obsidian offers unparalleled flexibility in note organization through its folder structure and linking system. For instance, a content creator can organize notes by project while linking related topics to create a web of interconnected ideas. This approach is particularly beneficial for managing complex workflows. OneNote's hierarchical notebook system, while more rigid, provides a straightforward structure that works well for traditional notekeeping. Users can create notebooks, sections, and pages, which makes it simple to categorize and access information. Both apps excel in search functionality, but cater to different needs. Obsidian allows users to search across notes, tags, and backlinks, which makes it ideal for retrieving interconnected information. For example, you can quickly locate all notes related to a specific project or keyword. OneNote's search extends beyond text to include multimedia and handwritten content. This makes it particularly useful for users who rely on diverse data formats within their notes. Obsidian supports exporting notes in Markdown and PDF formats, catering to users who need to share or archive their work. This is useful for creating backups or sharing documents with collaborators who prefer specific file types. OneNote integrates perfectly with Microsoft Office, allowing users to export notes directly to Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. This makes it a better option for users operating within the Microsoft ecosystem and needing compatibility with other Office tools. Both apps have mobile versions, but their functionalities differ. OneNote's mobile app provides a comprehensive experience, supporting multimedia, drawing, and rich text editing. This makes it a versatile tool for capturing ideas on the go. Obsidian's mobile app, while effective for text-based note-taking, offers fewer features and relies heavily on plugins for additional capabilities. This makes it better suited for users focused primarily on writing. With its plugin system, Obsidian integrates seamlessly with third-party tools and applications. Users can enable plugins for functionalities like GPT integrations, Kanban boards, and databases, expanding the tool's usability across different workflows. However, setting up these integrations can be time-consuming for less tech-savvy users. Alternatively, OneNote primarily integrates with the Microsoft ecosystem, making it easy for users already reliant on apps like Word, Excel, and Outlook. However, its limited third-party integrations can be restrictive for those looking for broader compatibility. Obsidian, on the other hand, is free for personal use. It offers all its core features at no cost, and you only pay if you're using it for commercial purposes. The Catalyst license is a one-time payment of $25, which gives you early access to new features and helps support its development. For those who want more, there are two optional paid add-ons, Obsidian Sync for $4 per month, which allows you to sync notes across devices with end-to-end -end encryption, and Obsidian Publish for $8 per month, 
which lets you turn your notes into a website. In contrast, OneNote is completely free to use with a Microsoft account, which offers easy integration with Microsoft's ecosystem. While the core features are accessible without cost, some advanced functionalities may require a Microsoft 365 subscription, which also includes additional Office apps and storage. For users already utilizing Microsoft services, OneNote stands out as a cost-effective and well-integrated solution. The choice between Obsidian and OneNote ultimately depends on your needs and preferences. Obsidian's ability to interlink notes and display them in a knowledge graph makes it an excellent choice for those managing intricate projects and valuing customization. Meanwhile, OneNote's feature-rich environment and superior collaboration capabilities make it an outstanding option for teams and users who need a versatile, all-in-one tool.